Hi, and welcome to The Deployment Guy, which is a series of short videos for people just starting out in the world of Intune and Configuration Manager. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we make the login process that bit easier for the end user using the configuration profile to set a default domain. In the past, I've had users comment that by having to type their username followed by the domain can be quite irritating, especially if the domain is quite a long one. Also, it can be quite confusing for some users who have perhaps come from an on-premise environment where they've previously only needed to type in their username followed by their password. So, to create this profile, the first thing you want to do is go to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center at endpoint.microsoft.com. From here, select Devices, Windows, then Configuration Profiles. Select Create Profile. The platform we're going to use is Windows 10 and later. The profile type is Templates. And on the template name, we're going to use Device Restrictions. So select Create on that. Next, let's give it a meaningful name, such as Windows Default Domain. Select Next. From here, we're going to select Password, then scroll right down until you get to Preferred as your AD tenant domain. Now, in my instance, it's going to be deploymentguy.onmicrosoft.com. Then select Next, Add to Groups. In this instance, we'll just use Windows Staff Laptops. Select that. Next. Next again, and then create the rule. For the purpose of this video, I have manually synced a device that's in the laptops group and skipped the waiting time. On the device configuration, you can now see that the default domain profile has now applied. If we then go to the device, you can see that the default domain is now set and a user can simply log in using their username rather than a full email address. This has been the Deployment Guy. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you real soon in the next video.